Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Good morning. Happy Friday. Wendy, I like your hat. Um, okay, so y'all are here because you'll want to know 51 social media post ideas. Is that correct? I'm assuming it's because we uh, need some content. We need some, we need some creative content. We need our juices flowing, right? So I've got 51 ideas for you. I don't know how many I'm going to get through. We'll see. We'll see. So uh, the goal is to get through all of them, but you never know. Anyway. Uh, so let's go through here and I'm going to tell you, um, so Brandon is working really hard on making it pretty, um, but I didn't get a chance to look at it until super late. So we're just going to look at kind of the ugly version right now, but then when you get it posted in the group, it'll be the pretty version. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> um, all right. So let's go through and take a look here. If you guys have questions, feel free to pop them in the comment, come off mute, whatever you want, but I will tell you. I am super excited. And this is some of these stuff is stuff that I actually do. So um, you guys, I'm giving you my brain right now. So there you go. Okay. So 51 social media post ideas. So here's the deal, you guys. It doesn't, social media does not have to be uh, hard. Is this big enough? Can you guys read it? I need to make this bigger. Yeah, there we go. A little bit bigger for you. Um, social media does not need to be hard. The one thing that I talk about all the time is that social media, people want you right? Like they want you. It's not anybody else's page. This is not anybody else's Facebook page you're on. This is your page. It is okay to be narcissistic on Facebook. That's all I got to say. It's okay to want all of the attention because it is about you. So show up, be yourself, be authentic, be, you know, have integrity with who you are in real life. Uh, because, you know, the reality is that if I ever meet you in person and you're completely different than what I see online, I will probably never talk to you again. So like be authentic, right? So post pictures of yourself, selfies, you know, people, people want you. And the reality is when you're trying to like market on social media, um, you know, you're trying to market to the people who already know, like, and trust you anyway. So just be yourself. So post a picture of yourself. There you go. Introduce yourself. Um, you know, another, another way to uh, get some attention on social media is a Q and a session. So one of my favorite things to do with the Q and a session is to actually, uh, announce it. So a lot of times you'll see that like in the Facebook, in this Facebook group, you'll see, um, that I'll actually announce like, Hey, this is what we're coming. We have a Q and a session. So please come prepare with your questions, right? So, so do something like that. If you have a Facebook group that you manage it for a community, if you have like, you know, a, a local group of whatever you just, do it, do it live on Facebook, go live and do a Q&A session. Q&A sessions do a lot of good. The other thing you could do with like a Q&A session is you could invite people to come into your Zoom room and do a Q&A session there. So, you know, a Q&A session works really well. Um, the other thing, I was probably going to get here. The other thing you could do with like a Q&A session is you could post a question <laughs> on Facebook, post a question, and then just start responding, do some engagement and uh, start responding that way. Okay. So, uh, let me, I, I gotta stop like the whole, like sharing and not sharing post the thank you post. Now this one is probably the easiest one to do, but it's the one that I don't see very many people doing. And a lot of times we'll do like a, you know, thank you to my clients or thank you to my, my clients for trusting me while you're also posting a just listed post, but literally just post a thank you post. I have not done this in a while, so I'm probably going to throw it in there. But uh, all you do is post a picture um, of like a GIF or a thank you card, or you could even like, I, I think Wendy, I could totally see Wendy doing this, having like a big sign that's like, thank you, like real big, and just a big picture. Uh, and then just have a have like in the caption explaining what you're saying thank you to people for. I thank people for following me online. I thank people for, you know, wanting to like get to know me. I thank people for, you know, coming to this call, whatever it is, like just post a post post something that just says thank you. Okay. Predict what's happening in your business. Predict what's happening. You can do this in stories. You can do this in an actual post. I just put a story out the other day where in my market, um, I showed, I've showed five homes this week to a client and um, four of them were under contract before I got home. 
So <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's starting to trend toward a frenzy again, right? So post, but predict what's happening. Don't be afraid to take a stand. You are real estate experts. Don't be afraid to take a stand. If you think the market's going to crash, say that. If you think the market's not going to crash, say that. If you think that we're in a buyer's market, say that. Predict. Like forecast and predict. It gives yourself, it gives you the uh, the credibility with your followers. It gives you the credibility with your community, and also you learn you learn a lot when you have to do a little bit of research. Um. Anyway, um, the next one is bring someone live on Facebook or Instagram. Don't do what Wendy and I did though. That was not a good idea. That's not a good idea. That Wendy and I went live in my Facebook group last week, and it was a shit show. It, it that was total, epic. What are you talking about? Total fail. Epic fail. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, can people actually see me? Nope. All we can see is Wendy's face, and Wendy can't even hear what's happening. It was. <laughs> just, but what you could do is get something like Streamyard. Streamyard is completely free, uh, and you can stream from Streamyard uh, directly into your Facebook group or your Facebook page. You can also stream from there to your YouTube channel. But bring someone on uh, a Facebook live and just start talking about them. You could do this with a local small business. You could do this with a client. How, that'd be cool. Do it with a client. See so if you have someone who's really cool and doesn't mind video, doesn't mind going live and they could like share their testimonial. Um, talk about a book that's impacted you. This one is definitely near and dear to my heart. I talk about books a lot. I love to read. Talk about a book that has made a major impact on your life. When you talk about books, you learn a lot about people. Lots, 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 lots. Um, this one's always funny, uh, because it's kind of true. I don't really care. Like if you ask me what uh, you're eating for dinner, I probably, or if I ask you what you're eating for dinner, I don't actually really care what you're eating, but, um, I might ask just because it's engaging. So, but it's an easy post because like most people like to talk about food. I mean, I like to talk about food, but I don't actually always care what other people are eating. If that makes any sense. Um, post something super inspirational. People love quotes. My favorite one is Jim Rohn. Um, uh, formal education can make you a living. Self-education can make you a fortune. That's like one of my favorite quotes ever. Or Maya Angelou, people will never forget how you, what you, people will forget what you said, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Like those are some of my favorite quotes. So something like that. And when you post a quote, you guys, the thing is people learn a ton about you. They learn a lot about the way you think, the way you act, all that. Lenny asked if we are getting a copy of these. Yeah, I'm going to get them posted in the group. So you don't have to write them down if you don't want to. Unless you have something that comes up. Like if we talk about a topic and you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. Write that down. Write that down. Okay. Show people what you're working on. How many of you like behind the scenes stuff? I love behind the scenes. I love to see what what real life is. And I think like, especially in real estate, I'm going to not stop sharing for a second. Especially in real estate, people think our job is like selling sunset. People think that we sit around and we're just doing pretty, like making houses pretty and like having fun filming video. But they don't realize that like yesterday, I'm on the phone with my coach and I'm bawling. I'm crying because I have a, a client that's like taken me to this top stress level, like beyond any stress that I can manage anymore. Right. People, people want like pe people deserve to know that people deserve to know that, especially if they're working with you on a client level and you're one of those agents who always has to fight on commission. you got to show that you got to show what you do on the backside. You need to show people how hard you work for them because you're worth every single dollar that you earn and probably more. So like you've got to show what you do on the back end. Also, with behind the scenes is bloopers. Bloopers are really funny. Bloopers are funny. I don't know if any of you saw my stories the other day, but I like do this wave thing in all my videos. I'm like, what the f am I doing? Stop doing the damn wave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't mind. I do a twirl too. I don't mind the twirl like in my listening videos. But when I'm sitting there like doing a drip campaign email and I'm like, so I'm like, hi. So like <laughs> post bloopers, people post behind the scenes because people want to know what you're doing. Plus, I mean, I think it's pretty cool to like watch people like in action. Like if you guys look at like what like Krista, Krista Mayshore, if you guys watch her behind the scenes, that lady is like, woo, she's like, she's going, she has so much going on. But when you see her in public and you see her presenting, she's so, she's got it all together, right? Because she's amazing. And so she, like, you got to show what goes into becoming who you are on camera. That's so, so, so important. Okay. Back to sharing. Um, Okay. Uh, do a free download. 
This is a great one. This is a great way to get leads. Like you could do a free download for your relocation guide. You could do a free download for your buyer guide. You could do a free download for uh, a checklist. Like my favorite one to do in the summertime is like a, uh, I'm sorry, springtime is like a spring cleaning home inspection checklist. I partnered with my home inspector. They gave me a checklist. They let me co-brand it. And you can do that for a free download. That's always a good idea. You could just post this as an organic post on your personal Facebook page because you never know who on your personal Facebook page could become uh, a lead for you. Um, and then this one is like, uh, you can always hop like, hold on, hold on, what's going on here? T-I, there we are. Um, you could ask your title company or for help, or you could like jump on Breakthrough Broker or any of those other free resources, or just create your own. Ask, uh, even better, ask ChatGPT to give you a checklist to create for a free download and ChatGPT will give you the answer. So there you go. Um, interview a local vendor or a leading authority who is in your industry that you could interview and put in front of your audience. Who could, um, who in your local community, like a, like a, uh, do you have someone that you work with, like a painter or a, a plumber or an electrician or somebody that could talk about some problems that they're seeing in their industry? I mean, I would really like to know more about what what those what those industries see because I don't really know, and it helps me become a better resource for my clients. So interviewing people always does always does wonders, and you can see interview a client, which you kind of talked about before anyway. But the client thing, you guys, the interviewing a client, you just got to find someone who wants to go live. Because I really think that's better if you go live with that. But if they don't, just interview them uh, face to face and on video, on video. And then you can use that for a testimonial. And there you go, you got repurposed content. Uh, you could share a cool tech breakthrough. My favorite one to share right now is ChatGPT. But you could find you could find something cool, like maybe your your local audience doesn't know something about technology, and we, you know we are we know a lot uh, in this industry. We have to be to be successful in real estate right now. You have to be really tech techy. Uh, so you could share something really cool that you learned. Um, show a picture of your workspace. How many of you want to show a picture of your office? I'm just curious. Do it. I'm, prepare, I'm preparing for taxes, so no. <laughs> I got, Kevin, that's oh, great content. That is great content. All Sarah. kinds of. I usually I'm usually blurred out, but I have a green screen behind me because I, I got a mess back there right now of paperwork. So no. <laughs> that's hilarious. I want to tell you, um, I did one time. I shared a picture of um, my uh, my office before, and then I did like a, a before and after because it was before before I actually cleaned it and then after. And um, that one got so much engagement. So share a pic Kevin, you should really share a, like a photo of your office right now. And you can do like a post about like being frazzled about like when being an entrepreneur and it can relate to more than just real estate, right? Being an entrepreneur is about like around this time of year, we are all stressed out trying to like figure out our taxes. And like the story could be, hey, if you become a little bit more organized and this year, like what can you do to be more organized this year to make this time of year next year less stressful? That could be like the story or the lesson that comes from it. But you should share a picture of your workspace because we don't, we don't, before, after my office. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Who's owner? Oh, oh, that's um, Terry. Like, I'm like, who's owner? <laughs> Terry, Terry, yes, share a before and after of your office. Do that on, a, on like a, a reel with like a trending sound or some fun music. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. or like before and afters of your bedroom because realtor life don't have time to clean. <laughs> For real. For real. I have 10 loads of laundry. I have to fucking fall. But I'm I should I should actually videos. do that today. I should do that today because you guys should see my I'm the worst at laundry. Like laundry, I hate. I hate doing laundry. It's never done. Like it's never done. There's never an end to laundry. It's constant. Am I like I literally have so many clothes because so I don't like to do laundry. And then like I know that I have to do laundry when I run out of clothes, by the way. So I have no more socks, no more clean socks. That is the that's the reminder that it is time for me to do some laundry. And I think I have about like 50 pairs of socks. So just so you know, a little insight to me. I hate doing laundry. <laughs> it's a re it's a reminder of me just to stop by Costco and get some more. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> Katrina, what's the Sunshare app? What is that? They will come and pick up your laundry and do it for you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes. Linnea. 
I need that. I need that. In my life. Sunshare. Download the sun. I'm writing app. that. I'm writing that down, man. My husband is going to be like, "What are you doing? <laughs> Groceries delivered." Listen, up. if I if I can leverage time, I'm going to leverage time. Oh man, I gotta tell you, it's the laundry, man. I hate I I like I hate grocery shopping too, but I prefer to do my own grocery shopping because like the grocery deliveries always mess up my produce. They like I tell them, don't give me any bruises in my apples, and what I get bruised apples, right? I hate it. So I don't let anyone touch my 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 produce. Okay. <laughs> but laundry, I think I can get away with laundry. So okay. All right, look at that. Um <laughs> Love it. Okay, right, let's go and look at some more here. Are you guys getting some good ideas from here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, I like the download um, free download. We just did a uh, a senior expo uh, last weekend, and we had a booth at the uh, chamber, and we put a lot of good material together for seniors. So I'm thinking about using that and then uploading it and putting it into PDF format and being able to offer that as a download. So that's a really good idea. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That's a great idea. I like that a lot. So for, sorry, for the download, like, because if you put a link, Facebook isn't going to share it as much. So what do you think about like a picture of the landing page that you have for it? And then you send, and then when they request it, then you send them the link. Because yeah, if you put the landing link in there to download the guide, like it's a link and Facebook is not going to share it with very many people. Unless you pay, unless you pay them to. Yeah. Um, But you could like, you could do like a picture of it or you could do like, if you have like a print of it, like your relocation guide, like for me, what I could do is like my marketing plan, for example, pretend this is my marketing plan. And I could be like, oh my gosh, get a copy of my marketing plan. Like and just take a picture. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could do something like that. Um, Maybe like like your Raiders calendar. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah, a picture. Because, yeah, if you put a link in there for them to, you know, put their info to download, yeah, Facebook will. Yeah, unless you're paying for it. I'm thinking free. My, My general rule of thumb with anything on Facebook is it should always include a picture of yourself. I really don't like, um, I really don't like, um, just like pictures of houses or pictures of other things. Like I always feel like there needs to be a plug of you in there somewhere, whether it be a little watermark in the corner, whether it be you with it, whether it be something like social media is about you. It's not about anything else. Like it's not about, not about me. My, your social media is not about me. Um, so, uh, I'm, I'm all about that. That would be a great idea. Wendy. I'm doing it. You could do like, you could encourage people rather than encouraging them to leave Facebook because Facebook doesn't like people to leave the platform. If you're trying to do this organically and not spend money, encourage people to send you a message um, or encourage people to, you know, drop a comment, whichever, like, because it leaves them on the Facebook platform. Facebook rewards you for that. And then if you drop a comment, the cool thing is that you comment back, you get that engagement going, then Facebook loves that post. So um, that's probably what I would do. Okay, other ideas here. Let's see. Uh, sharing is caring. Share a video or share someone else's content. Do this with small businesses a lot. Um, I actually, uh, an agent that I connected with not too long ago, she and I, uh, we took a picture together. She shared it on her social media. I shared it on mine. She and I both picked up like 20 followers each. So sharing is sharing is caring, people. It really, really works. Um, and then like, Beautiful pictures. Like your picture should be really pretty. Your picture should be pretty. Like if you're showing, I mean, if you like ugly houses, cool, show ugly houses. But I really like ugly houses to me, like to go in the stories. I don't like to put those on like a post. I like to put those in stories to be like, what do you think? What would you do to improve this or something would be a really good way to do that. Um, but if you're out with clients and you see something that's like super fancy, just take a picture of it. Even if it's someone else's listing, if you're in like, you know, if you're showing a home, I mean, you know, don't try to promote like it's your listing, but be like, Hey, look what I, look what I saw today. Like post it, show beautiful pictures. Um, ask people to post a picture of their pet. This is really good engagement. Um, anything, anything where you're posting and you're asking people to do something and they do it, that's engagement. And the reason why engagement is really, really important for organic social media is because the more your people stay on the platform and the more people, more Facebook or Instagram sees that you're talking back and forth. This is true for LinkedIn too. Um, the more people see you talking back and forth with people or engaging, uh, the more they're going to push your content out. So for example, Um, I just posted something that was like Apple or Android. 
Okay. So much engagement. I don't really care if you use Apple or Android. I personally am a Mac user. I'm an Apple iPhone. I have an Apple watch. I have an iPad. Like I am hundred percent Apple. You'll never get me to switch to Android, but there's a lot of people out there who are not like that, but I don't really care. But the cool thing about it is it starts a lot of, a lot of conversation because within that post, there was two people who are going back and forth about why do you guys like Apple so much? Why do you guys like Android so much? And so people like it. Right. So the next thing that went out was a video about my process. And that video got so much more engagement than it would have if it was just a video by itself. But what happened is because the engagement was there, right? Facebook's like, oh my gosh, Lenny is awesome. People like her. Let's show her more. Let's show more of her stuff. Make sense? So ask people to engage with your, with your stuff. If you have a blog, share your blog, share it on Facebook, LinkedIn. If you're on Twitter, share it on Twitter. Uh, you, you even could put it in your, um, in your um, LinkedIn bio for Instagram. Share your blog. Share your wins. This is like, to me, this is more than just, just listed or just sold. Like to me, this is like actually share your wins. Like I was for a while doing a, you know, a once a month, here's my May wins. Here's all the things that we did. We sold 5 million in volume or whatever. And that was really cool. People like to cheer for you, but don't share your wins all the time. Just sh- plug, throw in a, a share your wins. Also share your losses. Also share about times that that you, you lost, like, you know, maybe you lost a listing, maybe a buyer decided to go with someone else, but what did you learn from that? Because that's, that's a real thing. It happens all the time. Um, uh, fill in the blank, which is another good engagement one. Uh, just be sure like not to overuse it. Like if I could go anywhere on vacation for free, it would be too blank. That's another good one. Uh, share a YouTube video. If you see something that's really inspiring on, on uh, Facebook, share it. Facebook doesn't necessarily like uh, YouTube, so they might not share it as much, but it does help you if you tag that person, then that person sees that you're supporting them. Make sense? Uh, do a poll. Polls are awesome. Polls are awesome. How many meals do you eat? Uh, what's your favorite TV show? Uh, any sort of polls are really good. Um, uh, so Wendy, yes, everything is all the replays are posted in the Facebook group. All of the documents are posted in the Facebook group. So you will get a copy of it. Um, show a picture of you when you were younger. Yeah, that's my favorite one. I love, I love like before you, uh, you, uh, before, before you uh, were who you are today. Like, I love those posts. I look nothing like myself. I don't have, have any of you ever seen a picture of me like 20 years ago? No. Okay. I had buck teeth. I had acne, cystic acne. I had really, really, really super bright red hair. Um, like, and that's not even 20 years ago. Let's be honest. That was like eight years ago. I I got braces like, uh, when, what year is it? I got braces that, that was 10 years ago. I got braces eight years ago and cleared up my acne seven years ago. So there you go. You see pictures of me 10 years ago. You'd be like, what is that? My cheeks were all chubby because my face, my buck teeth. Anyway. So share a picture of yourself when you're younger and talk about the glow up. People love glow ups. Okay. Um, top post your top three places to eat or your top five books of all time. People ask me all the time about book, my favorite books. I really need to get that list done because I have it. I just need to get it out. Uh, any podcasts that you like, ask for testimonials, ask people to write you a review, go out to your Facebook group. If you're trying to build your Google presence, you're trying to build Zillow or wherever you want your reviews, ask people, write one for you. However, this being said, Google right now, well, I don't know if this changed in the last month or so, month or so, month or so but uh, Google, like if you don't ask people who are in like a different state to write your review on Google, because Google will block it as fraud. They're like being really weird about reviews right now. So like if your if their IP address is not close to your business address, Google will probably flag that as fraud. I've had several clients who've written me reviews and it never got flagged because they moved out of state. So or they got flagged. Uh, so just be careful, but ask for reviews or testimonials. It's going to just help you build that presence, right? Share memes, share gifts, uh, create FAQs, like question, answer questions you get asked a lot. I think this is really good, like video content. Like one of my favorite ones is what's the difference if I sell, if I actually sell my house as is, or um, actually put some work into it. Like to me, that's kind of a long written post, but that's a really good, a pretty quick video post. And you could do like a, a, like a little, like, here's what it would be if you sold it before. Here's what it would be if you sold it after. You could also do that as like a client testimonial and feed that in. Share your awards. We all are really good at that. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to go into this anymore. We're all really good at sharing your awards. Make a recommendation. 
If you guys are writing reviews on Google or writing reviews on, on Yelp or wherever, write that review on your Facebook page or write that review and in, write that review on an Instagram story and like promote another person. If you're good at time management, share that. Use yourself as a resource. Um, ask true or false questions. Um, if you, uh, you know, true or false questions, people will always, um, people will always respond. People will always uh, respond to those. Okay, this one is um, interesting, but link to something controversial. Controversial gets engagement. You want engagement on social media. Social media is super important to have engagement because the more engagement you have, the more they're going to say, hey, I love you. I want to share your content with everybody. So share something controversial. As long as it doesn't hit, like, you know, go against your moral values, your moral compass, right? Share something that's controversial because it's going to get a lot of conversation. Get some, do use something or share a personal story. I'm doing a lot of that right now. Lots of personal stories. Um, use data. Do a giveaway. Giveaways are my favorite thing to do. Uh, share what you're doing on holidays or vacations. We're going to get through here real fast, you guys, because there's a few questions I want to get through. Share a funny story. Funny, funny, funny. Love people love funny. Like I still go back to the video where I shared where Kelly, my lender, fell straight on her face, hanging a sign. It's funny thing I've seen in a long time. Still makes me laugh. Uh, but share something funny. People like funny. Uh, share your story. Don't be afraid to share your story. Don't be afraid to get vulnerable. Don't be afraid to share where you come from because you did not wake up the way you are right now. You got here with, there's a story that got you here. Don't be afraid to share those stories. Those stories will attract more people to you. The more people that are attracted to you, the more your business is going to thrive, the more your finances are going to thrive, the more everything's going to thrive. Um, you know, share like your most like repetitive challenge. Like what's the, what's the thing you're challenged with the most in your business? Be vulnerable. Share this with your audience because your audience wants to know that you're not just a real estate agent. You're a human being. You're a business owner. Um, connect people to a group. Like if you really, if there's a Facebook group out there, like Real Talk with Linnea, and you think another agent should be in this group and they're not in this group, share the Facebook group. Invite them to the group. Um, that's a good plug. Sorry. Ask for feedback. Like literally straight up ask. Like put a, put it out on your Facebook page and just say, hey, what do you think real estate agents should be doing better? Or what's your favorite, what's your favorite thing about the real estate agent you last worked with? Ask that question. That's going to give you so much insight for more content in the future. Um, you know, ask for pricing advice is, you know, you could do like a like a picture of three homes. There's one uh agent in my market, he does this all the time, like once a month, he has pictures of three homes and he says, Atlanta, uh, you know, Tallahassee, Seattle, guess the price in each market. It's the same house. Just guess the price in each market. That's super engaging. Um, simplify social media. You guys, sim social media, is, it, it, it's complicated. There's a lot of, a lot of al algorithms. So you've got to like, if, there's, if you have a tip that works really well for you, simplify it. Show a funny picture, show people your backend systems. Um, I think one of my like most engaging stories is when, I, when I'm writing an offer and I like to show people like what the offer looks like. Um, and then, you know, look at what other people are doing and copy them. So be careful if it's in your, in your own market. Don't copy them verbatim. All right. I got through them all. How's, how do you feel? A lot of ideas. Is there a lot of good stuff in there? Probably some repetitive stuff, but a lot of good stuff in there. Um, there's a couple of questions that I have on here. Um, Patricia saying, can we still do polls? Um, when I'm saying a poll, you just do something, you just post it as a question. Like just a question. Like my, my example was Apple or Android. It's not necessarily a poll, but it is right. You're asking people to choose between one or the other. And that's a really easy way to do, to get some engagement. Um, and Scott says, how do you keep up on all the changes and algorithms with social media platforms? You know, here's the deal. Like, yeah, they change all the time, but I'm going to tell you the basis of social media is always the same. It doesn't change. Like you're getting caught up in the algorithms and their changes all the time. I mean, that to me is just getting caught up in the whirlwind and the chaos of what doesn't really matter. What matters the most on social media is that you're free, that is, is that you're consistent. If, if you show up, you're authentic and you're consistent, regardless of whatever algorithm changes there are. Like, yes, sometimes they're going to favor reels on Instagram versus live video on Facebook, right? Sometimes they're going to favor those things more, but that's too hard to remember. It's too hard. We got way too many other things going on, like how to actually price a home so it sells, right? That's more important than to keeping up with the algorithms on social media. So my advice is to just be consistent. Show up, be yourself, be authentic, and be consistent. 
But some people seem to know, well, because they're probably spending all their time studying. Like, that's probably why. Just like, I really know the housing market because I spent all my time studying the housing market. So I think like, um, you just got to go and find those people if you want. There's a lot of people out there. There's like, Shalene Johnson has an Insta club hub. If you want to join her, she's all about Instagram. There's uh, the, what is the TikTok marketing guy, the, the ginger marketer, the guy with the red hair. He's all about TikTok. So he'd be a good person if you really want to learn about TikTok. Krista Mayshore is Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. So follow Krista if you want to know all about Facebook. And these people are experts and that's their only platform, right? So like, all, like Shalene Johnson, she's on other platforms, but she's Instagram. Right. Or Chelsea Pete's. She's also Instagram. Right. But Krista May Short, she's Facebook. Whenever I have a question about what's happening with Facebook algorithm, you better believe I go to Krista first because Krista and her team, that's all they do is they keep up on these you know, algorithm changes all the time. But that's why you have experts to do that. And we just have to remember that we have to be consistent because our goal with social media unless you want to be an expert on a platform, our goal with social media is to be consistent and show up because you want your clients, you want your people to see you. Um, okay, so any other questions? Scott's asking one more. That's really funny. Scott, there's, there's, a, lot, there's a lot more um, other people than women on this room, on this call. There's quite a few. Kevin's here. Aaron's here. Uh, Lewis was here a minute ago. There's a lot more. That's funny. Um, okay. You guys have any other questions? Any other thoughts? Cool. Well, thank you for this. This is just a big block of information. So good thing there's a replay and good thing you're going to get this. Um, uh, I'll post this in the group later. So if you're not in the Facebook group, let me add the link here for you. So you can feel free to join it. And look, I had it up to the time. Yeah, I learned. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay, so here you go. You are ready. If you're not in the Facebook group, go ahead and join it. We'll get this PDF uploaded shortly and the video will be uploaded as soon as it's available. Thank you. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.